Hi guys, um, so first of all, let me apologize for not uploading any readings recently. Um, I am going to try and keep this really short because I don't have much storage space on this, but I put my phone through the washing machine, like literally full cycle through the laundry, uh, 45 minutes through the laundry, and obviously it didn't work after that. So right now I'm out of phone. What I'm using right now is, um, an old phone that's not hooked up. It basically is like an iPod that you can use in Wi-Fi, um, and it has barely any storage space on it, so I do not have enough space to record readings at the moment. I'm getting a phone tomorrow, and, um, you know, right now is, I go to school and I work, and right now is finals time, so things have been a little crunched and a little busy because of that, but I will be posting some more readings that, um, a subscriber requested very soon. I apologize for not being able to. Um, thank you to all my subscribers and viewers. This video, though, I want to talk about something a little different. I want to talk about CBD. Um, I am a person who has smoked weed for pff, over 10 years, probably, because I'm 27 now and I started smoking in high school, so more than 10 years I've smoked weed on and off and, you know, not as much at different times, but in recent years I haven't not had weed because I had my medical marijuana card. For me personally, I had it for PTSD, but I also had, you know, I got in a nearly fatal car accident, so I also had bodily trauma that caused me pain and issues physically. So, um, that's why I had that, especially headaches, neck and shoulder problems because of the nature of the car accident. Um, so I haven't had weed recently because I haven't really had an easy time finding it since not having my card. Also, you know, when you are picking up weed off the street, you don't really know what's in it. You never know what you're going to get. Um, and I am, I'm someone who, uh, doesn't wear deodorant because lymphoma runs in my family, so I don't want to put chemicals straight into my lymph nodes that are trying to clear out my body. And something that I noticed smoking weed not from the dispensary was that I could actually smell the chemicals leaving my body. So even if somebody might think they're getting medical marijuana, it might not actually be the same grade of safety of that of what's coming from a dispensary because, you know, when I was smoking dispensary weed, when I would sweat, it would literally just smell like weed because, you know, if you're a healthy person, your sweat doesn't stink. It doesn't stink like chemicals. It stinks like whatever you ate, which doesn't necessarily stink if you're um, eating healthy. So I found that when I was smoking weed from people off the street and not getting it straight from the dispensary, I could literally smell the chemicals leaving my body. I, it was bad. So right now I don't really have a source um, to get weed because I didn't renew my card, not because I couldn't, but because I personally feel like it's a ripoff. I personally feel like it's a way for the state and the government to steal from sick people um, by regulating a plant that is grown on this planet that should be for free use to anybody because it grows on this planet. But it's just another way for them to steal from us and lie to us. Sorry, I got some pineapple in my water. But anyway, so one of my favorite YouTubers, Kendall Ray, love her, watch her all the time. She was blogging about how she gets CBD. She also has chronic pain and she gets CBD products from by legal meds. So I decided to order some, see what it's like, try it out. Um, and yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, I thought I'd share that and let you know what I think. So first of all, something I want to talk about this, I got off of Amazon. Um, it's virgin hemp oil. Uh, and I've got to say, so I've been taking two tablespoons the past couple days and I have a lot of pain in my my wrists and my um shoulder basically from my fingers up to the top of my head I have a lot of pain. And since I've been taking this, my pain has gotten so much better. So much better. It's only been 2 days, but I'm like when I wake up, I can barely move my wrists and stuff. So this has really helped me a lot. 
Um, and I, like I said, I got this off Amazon. It was really cheap. I'd suggest it. But after you open it, make sure you refrigerate it. It does say that once opening it, you need to refrigerate it. So what's really interesting is I have some CBD flour, which I didn't know you could get CBD in flour form, which is great because I really like to smoke. That's a habit of mine. I, I enjoy smoking. So in the past like week where I haven't had any weed, I've been smoking pretty much anything that's safe to smoke. I've been smoking mugwort, lavender, uh, rose, uh, chamomile, anything that... And But if you do choose to smoke these things, make sure that they're food grade. That way there's no chemicals or anything in them, like organic food grade. Because if it's safe for you to drink it in a tea and everything like that, it should be safe for you to smoke it from my personal research but always make sure to do your own research but anyway so i've got some flour here it took kind of a while i got it from bylegalmeds.com it took a little while for it to come in but they they said that there was like a disclaimer saying that they had you know a lot of orders so i thought other people might be interested in what the flour is like i've got a little bowl packed that you know i put in my little grinder my Grinder is so cute. It's like a little spider in there, and his name is Kevin, like that pickle from SpongeBob. Um, <laughs> Kevin. Kevin the pickle. But anyway, so I've got this one is called Lifter. This one is called Space Monkey. This is the one that I've got in my bowl. And this one is called Electric Dream. And I'm going to smoke some and let you know what I think. It's a little more expensive than weed. It's 15 a G rather than 10 a G. But I don't know. I could literally order it online because it's legal. In this... Oh, and it came with brochures. And in the brochure it says it's legal in all 50 states. So you should be able to get some and order some for yourself. But yeah. Let's try it. Let's see what it's like. This is hemp wick that I ordered off of Amazon as well because, you know, if you're breathing in the butane when you're smoking, like, I found that since I've used hemp wick, my lungs have gotten a lot better. I used to have a pretty bad smoker's cough and I really think it was from, a lot of it was from the butane that I was smoking in the lighter. Oh my god, guys, I've been waiting for this, so here we go. It took a little while for it to come in, but okay. My first impression of this, when I opened up the container it came in, it came in this. <coughs> it tastes like weed. Um, it came in this, so it was like packaged nicely. Right when I opened it up, it smelled like weed. <laughs> and I was like, alright, fuck yeah. Um, yeah, tastes good, tastes like weed. I already feel it a little bit setting into my body. It's not supposed to be psychoactive. It's supposed to be completely a body high. But I really like that you can get it in flour because this is part of my habit. Part of my habit is smoking a bowl, smoking a joint. You know what I mean? Um, I've also done surprisingly well since not having it after smoking weed for so many years, especially smoking weed every day for the last year. So, you know, I obviously had the withdrawals. I got really irritable. <laughs> I got real angry, <laughs> but at certain things, um, but yeah, so I was really excited to see that I could buy a weed-like flower substance perfectly legal and have it shipped to me through the mail. Yeah, this is just like weed. I'd say, in my opinion, it tastes like weed. It tastes a little different, but it tastes like weed. It grinds up like weed. Here you can see I've got a little bit ground up on this paper. This is my invoice. Um, for 15 a G and literally being able to ship it through the mail and knowing that it's, um, that it's safe and that it's regulated, that seems pretty good to me. Um, yeah, I feel a little high, like body high, for sure body high.
Yeah, so I definitely would suggest this. Um, buy, like I said, buy legalmeds.com. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to go fast. I really don't have that much storage on this, but I wanted to give my first impression of this. Um, but yeah, the reviews on it are raving. It's people love love this site and love their products. Um, I would say absolutely yes. Like this is a yes for me. This is really good. Um, I feel the body high. I feel it already. And this, I can't suggest this enough. If you have chronic pain, taking two tablespoons in the morning or at night. Um, I know it's only been a couple days that I've been taking it, but it's made a huge difference and I haven't really had to take Advil or other things like that that I don't usually really like to take. Um, but yeah, I think it's incredible. It was pretty, it was pretty funny to have a bunch of weed come in the mail. Which I know people probably do that anyway with real weed. Not that this isn't real weed, it's just CBD, it's less psychoactive, and it's more your body. But it looked like it's, it's weed, it looks like weed. Yeah. I don't know, I was just really excited, I wanted to share, like, my first experience with it, you, with it with you guys. Also, if anybody is thinking that they might be interested in this, I would say go ahead and get yourself a couple grams, see if you like it, especially if you have a job or you have a lifestyle where you can't always be, like, high in the head. Like, I, don't get me wrong, I love, <clears throat> been getting high for years on weed, <laughs> weed only, <laughs> but I've been getting high for years, don't get me wrong, I love that feeling when it's appropriate, but sometimes it's just not appropriate and you still have pain and you still want to do something about it or you um, have anxiety, or you're just really tense. So, yeah, 10 out of 10 for me. Like, the fact that I could order it online just really kicks it up there. But at the same time, this feels like I'm smoking weed. It tastes like I'm smoking weed, and I already feel it, but I'm still clear-minded. So, yeah, I would totally suggest this. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. I'll be posting some reading soon. Um, latest, I would say, would be this weekend that I'll be posting some new readings. Uh, I'm gonna do some requests. I had requests for health. That's gonna be my first one that I do when I come back is, um, uh, how can you improve your health? I also had a request for what will your future lover look like? Like, I've got a bunch of requests, so if you have requests, please leave them in the comments. Let me know what you, what kind of readings you want, and yeah, um, Thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped somebody in making a decision about CBD. Alright, bye guys. I'll see you soon. Love you!